Hey guys, and this is Mulate, and today I'm going to be doing episode 4 of the Wolverhampton Wanderers under 23's career mode. So I hope you guys will like and subscribe to the channel and tell me other video ideas you would like to see me do on the channel. So let's just get right into the video, shall we? Now if you don't remember, in the last episode we did see all the signing of Eric Garcia for five million pounds including Daniel Pedence in in the deal there he is he has some brilliant he has some decent stats 75 overall so that is a perfect signing We have about three mil for January. And let's sim this game against Crystal Palace. Ah, oh. guys, I just wanted to. I just wanted to. Because now I'm not going to sim on the calendar because I will be playing some game. I will. We know you playing one game per episode. So we beat Crystal Palace two one there. Which is perfect. I will accept that because Lewis Richards doesn't really matter for the club. We should. I mean, the goal would be to get mid-table for me, probably. Can we please get some season ticket sales? I will make a few changes to the squad. Matt Kilman will start over. Jules Kongde. Vitinha will start over. Puig. And Fabio Silva will start over. Cutroni. You should still win with Donnarumma in net. It's a nil-nil draw. A boring game. So, hmm. How much have we done? Oh my God. How did Milan have enough money to get Hussein Awar into the team? I mean, he is a bit more valuable since he went up one in rating. This team, though. I want to see if we have any job offers on oh, Arsenal. I'm not accepting any of them. Today is the 1st of September. Now I will play the Liverpool game in this episode. Let me check our squad deck. I don't think we have m many players in our squad right now. So I'm hoping that maybe in January we can improve that squad depth. Actually, it's not too bad, the depth. Hmm. 
I'm just going to do something with some of the lower rated players. Such as Kundal, Samuels, Perry, and even Wang. Corbino is good though, to keep. I wonder how we're going to go against Southampton. I'm not going to rotate the squad at all. I mean, I'm hoping that he could go up to like 68 by the end of the season if he doesn't accept anything by the end of the season. Then he might accept because he's a bit higher rated. How are we going to do? I'm just going to use the first team and we should win. The only positions are two wing backs. Enjoy. But the only two positions that aren't very good are the two wing backs. But obviously the 73 and 74 rate is the 74 rate was 22. And then 73 rated one is 19. We're unbeaten in the league. And yet we're not top. Because I'm pretty sure. Let me just check our stats. So, one win and four draws after five games. Use the first team here. Hey, Norway's up to a 74 as well. No, no. no. <laughs> After six games, we've won one and drawn five. Oh my god. Mm. And now the lowest rated player in our lineup is both of our wing backs at 74. Didn't get any many season we haven't got any season ticket sales, so I'm hoping we can get some season ticket sales soon. We're gonna completely rotate the squad for this game against Sheffield Wednesday. I'm just gonna play with it. So I'm going to put routine you there, Wang, Fabio Silva, Gibbs White, Diallo, Kilman will get the start, more gears. Fully rotated squad. Let's see how we do against Wednesday. It's a 2 0 loss, I don't really care. Just the Carabao Cup. I rotated the entire squad except for Donnarumma. I mean, I might even just sell Sarkic to get the cash. What is he, what's his value? 825k? I can't. Okay, well that is not good. Now the reason why I fully rotated the squad was because we had Burnley. Five days later, so I wanted everyone to be fit.
I'll just make one chain and that'll be Vitinia starting over Neto. You know what, let's give Trey a rest. Vitinia start over Trey I mean, that's good about Vitinia though, being able to play on the wing. He can still do it. Oh no, Ricky Puig's injured. I mean, Neves scored our winger. So now in the Premier League, I think we've played seven games. Yep, and we've got two wins and five draws. Ricky Puig's only injured for six days. And it's already been one day. He'll be back for the Sheffield game. So that's fine. He is fit. I'm going to rotate. I'm just going to play with the team a little bit. And play with it. I mean, the bottom of the league doesn't really make sense to play with the team. I'm gonna give Neves a rest and put Gibbs White and move him to Cam. I'm gonna rest Gomez. That's it, I think. There's two changes for this game. It's a 3 0 win. Eric Garcia is suspended. I mean, Catroni with a brace in. Jules Koundé with, I'm pretty sure, his first goal for the club. So now, after eight games, we've got three wins and five draws. I mean,. Max Kilman should be fine. It's not in over Garcia. What is his defending stats though? 71 defending, Garcia's defending is 76. Next game. It's, up, it's West Bromwich Albion, the Black Country Derby. I'll start you against Fulham, okay, Gibbs White? Garcia, Kilman will start over you for this one. Got Marcus on the bench. You know what, I'll rest Puig and give you a star, Gibbs White. Silver, you can star in the Black Country Derby. And Herva can star. Mm, we should still win. We lose 2 nil, man. Maybe starting Herbal was a bad idea. That was not a good idea, I don't think. But guys, with that in mind, I will end off the episode. 
right here right now so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode um i will see you guys in the next video so i'll see you later guys goodbye